Hey guys, today on Bakes and Blenders, you are gonna learn how to make these super easy, crazy delicious almond pecan spice muffins. They're a perfect recipe to whip up for breakfast, brunch, or even just to enjoy as a snack during the day. First thing you need to do is prepare your muffin pan. Whenever I make cupcakes or muffins, I always start by putting a little bit of rice in the bottom of each cavity. This helps prevent the cupcakes or muffins from shrinking. It also prevents the wrappers from getting uh, overly soggy. Then go ahead and add your paper cases and set the pan aside. You can find links to the products that I've used in the description box below this video. Now you can combine your dry ingredients. I'm using dried buttermilk today. I'm obsessed with it because I don't always have buttermilk or whole milk on hand. If you're not gonna use dried buttermilk, remove the powder and just replace the liquid with an equal amount of buttermilk or whole milk. You can also use whichever spices you love the most. I really do love the blend of cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg that the recipe calls for. However, today I am using a spice blend from King Arthur Baking called Yuletide Cheer also delicious. Time to mix up those wet ingredients. I like to use an immersion blender just to make sure that everything is like super duper combined but if you don't have one or you don't want to use it a regular balloon whisk or even a hand mixer will both work beautifully. Add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients. I like to sift mine in to eliminate any clumps that might be in the dry ingredients. You'll find the recipes used in this video in the description box below. Gently fold the wet and dry ingredients together until just about combined. Now you can add your pecans and your almonds. I've used slivered almonds before, but this time I'm using almond flour. It does make the muffin a tiny bit more dense, but it is still plenty moist and delicious. Divide your batter evenly among the 12 spaces in your muffin pan. I'm using my handy cupcake scooper. However, this is too small and you will end up with extra batter. That's fine. Just go back with a tablespoon or a teaspoon and divide the remaining batter among those 12 cavities. So I had some cinnamon sugar lying around and I thought, man, wouldn't that be absolutely delicious with these almond pecan spice muffins. So on half of my muffins, I just sprinkled some of that cinnamon sugar on top. It was absolutely delicious, but it's a purely optional step. Now bake those bad boys until the tops spring back when you touch them and a skewer comes out clean. Let them cool in the muffin pan for about five minutes before removing to a cooling rack to cool completely. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. My favorite way to eat these is to warm them up a bit in the microwave, cut them in half, smear on some butter, drizzle with a bit of honey, and enjoy with a hot cup of tea. It's absolutely delicious and one of my favorite snacks. I'm not the director of these videos, okay? Just so you know.